My name is Chris Nelson, and we're here today to talk about quality systems requirements, specifically complaint handling and servicing requirements. I'll cover one definition, and then we'll go into complaint handling requirements and servicing requirements, and we'll talk a little bit about MDR issues, because a lot of the complaint handling requirements and a few of the servicing requirements relate to review of events for MDR reporting. So let's look at complaint handling first. The, our one definition today is that of complaint, and the definition is any written, electronic, or oral communication that alleges deficiencies related to the identity, quality, durability, reliability, safety, effectiveness, or performance of a device after it is released for distribution. So there are two important parts of this definition, and one part is the problems there could be uh, that people could be complaining about, the identity, quality, durability, reliability, safety, effectiveness, or performance. And then the other concept is that this is after the device is released for distribution. So uh, this is our baseline for deciding what uh, is a complaint. And it can be written electronic or oral. Now, that gets us into our first situation analysis. We have three reports here, three communications received from consumers, and what I want you to think about is which, um, which of these meets the FDA definition of a complaint and why. So the first one is patient monitor display is dim and hard to read in bright light. How many of you would say that that's a complaint? Okay, we have a few yes votes. Yeah, that, that's a complaint. Basically, someone is saying that this this device, this patient monitor, is difficult to use because they can't see the display very well. Second one, shipment arrived late two weeks um, after the customer placed the order. The customer expected the shipment within, 14, within four days. Is this a complaint according to FDA's definition? How, yeah. how many of you? Okay, so the, no. All right, the third one, hip implant was labeled with the wrong size. How many would say that's... Okay, you say that a, is a complaint. You're right. Okay, so we have a good understanding of what, what is a complaint and what's not. All right, um, here's a situation analysis, another one. And this is a question I actually got at a seminar. I've had requests to record issues that are not complaints, like user error events. How should I track these non-complaint issues? What would you say to this person if someone asked you that question? Well, user errors, I thought you had to complain. Uh, you're right. Yeah. Well, you, you're right. User errors are complaints. Right. So, so this person was making an assumption that user error is not a complaint. It's very popular to, among manufacturers to say that uh, complaints are user error and therefore they don't have to do anything about it. But uh, they they do need to be recorded as complaints because they may indicate problems with design or labeling. People may be misusing the product because it's poorly designed and it encourages them to uh, push the wrong button, switch the wrong switch, or the labeling may be misleading them. It may not be warning them about things that should not be doing. Now, there's more about user error. Uh, the preamble discusses user error and says that it means any error made by a person using the device uh, and it could be the sole cause or merely contribute to the reportable adverse event. So this is the MDR preamble, not the quality systems preamble. Now there's even more on user error. Uh, FDA and the Global Harmonization Task Force have uh, started to promote the use of the term use error. And th uh, this refers to both unintentional and intentional misuse. And the reason is we want to take away the blame from the user. We, we talk about there was an error in use, not an error by the user. Now, uh, it could be associated with reuse of single-use devices or use of devices for clinical situations not intended by the manufacturer. But the whole point is it's use error, not, not an uh, an error that we're going to blame on the user because there may be deficiencies in the design or the labeling. Okay, let's go on to the first uh, requirement for complaint handling, and that is maintaining comp 